This video is brought to you by Biznet. For more information, go to biznet.com.au. In the last video, we looked at what a dimension was. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at adding and removing elements, moving dimensions, adding and removing dimensions, and moving elements. So let's go back to the same um, pivot type we're looking at before. And just to recap, we've got the dimensions of the main categories. In this case, there's one, two, three, four dimensions, and the elements are the items within each dimension. The data are the numbers over here. Um, the easiest thing to do is to hide or remove an element. You just right click on it and click hide. So you can actually hide more than one, and it's as simple as that. In this is Excel in on a Mac, so to bring those elements back, double click on the dimension name, hold down the Apple key, and click on those items that were hidden, and they will be unhidden. There we have them back. Uh, you can also literally grab dimensions and move them like this, so you can change the ordering of the dimensions within your table, and in fact you can actually grab these header um, elements and all of the child elements will move with them. Try that one again. Uh, I think we have to move it even further down. Oosh. And it's a little bit of getting used to required. Um, you can actually double click on these dimensions and you can automatically have um, elements sorted within the dimensions. So we've seen how to remove an element and how to bring it back, and we've seen how to move them. The next one we're going to look at is dimensions. Um, they have a, there's a pivot table toolbox here, and this lists all the fields from your database, and each one of these fields is a dimension. And um, it's a, removing dimensions is easy as just grabbing the dimension and dragging it off the table. You see it has a little X next to it, and the dimension's now been removed. So we just have activity and contact. If we want to get um, event name back, we just grab it and drag it back in and place it where we want it and there you have the dimension back on the table. So you can remove dimensions and add them back very quickly. So we've looked at how to add and remove elements. We've looked at moving dimensions. We've looked at adding and removing dimensions. We've looked at moving elements.